So now that you know how to design the header and heading of an MLA document, I would like to now walk you through how to form an outline in the proper style and not have to deal with a lot of formatting glitches that can come up with using some Microsoft Word defaults. So, you know, once again, we have your name, your teacher or professor's name, the course name, the date and day, month and year, and then we have your title here. And now once we get down here, the first level of an outline should be a Roman numeral. So if you type in a, Rome, a capital I with a period, you hit a space, you see that we, are, we had some automatic formatting kick in. And so typically what you want here is for it to say introduction. And if I hit enter again now, we're in this, I have it set up to double space, so it's going to double space, and we have a Roman numeral too. And now while, you know, we can go ahead if we really want to, we can set up um, our, we can go ahead and set up our other Roman numerals right now as an example. And what you'll want to do is go back and for body for Roman numerals two, three, and four is put in your topic sentences for those body points later. Um, obviously, introduction and conclusion, you can go ahead and leave the same. If we click back up here with introduction now, I'm going to hit enter again, but I want to tab in. But what we get here now is this lowercase a, and that's not quite what we want. So the best way to fix this now is if we go back up to the top here, and this middle one is going to be clicked in, but we actually want the multi-level list feature here. So click the down arrow for that and you'll notice that everything down here gets highlighted. And we actually want to go to define new multi-level list. So we're going to make a couple of quick changes here that are going to allow your, the rest of your document to be easily formatted. And so that all you have to do is hit tab or shift tab to shift between various levels. So for the second level here, we actually want to go to capital letters we can click on the third level. We want that to be numbers. The fourth level, we want to go back to lowercase Roman numerals this time. The fifth level is already correct at a lowercase uh, letter. And we can go ahead and define the sixth as numbers again. Typically, your format's not going to go beyond level four or even five. So, but if we go ahead and set it up like this, then we know you're safe for almost every instance that you may come up with. If we go ahead and click OK here, we notice here that we have this changed. So, uh, you know, we would, in our typical introduction, we would have our attention getting device. If I click enter, and now I have a B. And so for B now, I want to have my general summary. C is always your relevance statement. D is our thesis statement. And finally, we'll have our preview statement. And now let's say I hadn't done, you know, I wanted, I hadn't typed anything else out yet down here. To go back to a Roman numeral level now, I can hit shift tab. And now I have a Roman numeral here, but I'm actually just going to backspace that because I don't need that there. Um, you know, so there isn't typically much subdivision in the introduction, you know, but we get to our body point here. You know, I get a number three after I click enter. So I click tab and now we have a capital letter. So let's say I have my first sub point. And let's say I want to do evidence down at the next level. So I introduce the evidence with the citation. And then, you know, I want to have a warrant explanation and I want to have an impact, um, you know, and then I want to have a second body point. I hit shift tab to go back out to B. I have sub point two. once again, evidence with the citation, a warrant explanation and our impact. And so I would just repeat that for each body point. But as you can see now, um, you know, it's not going to turn a funky color of blue anywhere in the outline. It's going to stay very consistent. It's going to look very clean. Um, and it's going to help you when you go to take this and put it onto note cards in some capacity, easily be able to tell, okay, here's my topic sentence. Here's my sub point. Here's the evidence. Here's my warrant. Here's my impact. And so it will actually make your job easier as well as long as you stay within this format throughout your outline. 
So obviously, um, you know, there will be variations, you know, every body point may not have two sub points, you know, maybe your first body point has one sub point, or just one major point where maybe your second body point has two or three sub points. It really just depends on your speech at that point. But if you can continue to follow this structure and remember that each of these levels should have a complete sentence, then you're going to be okay. So here there's a nice video for you to continue to refer back to on how to set up an outline for a speech.